Subscribe now. EU debates. Okay. Well, this is the last uh, Foreign Affairs Council meeting before the summer holidays. We hope it's going to be the last one. But the last two summers has been uh, very much troubled by different events. Last year, remember, it was Afghanistan. And this year, the war in Ukraine continues. Today, the fact has been devoted mainly to discuss about the Russian aggression against Ukraine, also about Latin American and Caribbean relationship, and other issues I will briefly mention. We got uh, a video conference with the uh, Foreign Minister of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleva, who joined the um, Foreign Affairs Council. On the first point, he briefed us about the latest developments in the Russia aggression against Ukraine. His description shows that the situation in the ground continues being dramatic, it's worsening day by day. Russia continues launching missiles, targeting civilian infrastructure, causing dozens of civilian deaths every day. We are terrified by the violence of the Russia aggression against civilian people in Ukraine. And there are also disturbing reports about the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war by the Russian troops. Russia continues to target fields and foodstocks. Everybody has seen the images of uh, wheat fields being burned. They continue blocking the exports from Ukraine. They are responsible for the hunger in the world. Russia is trying to destroy Ukraine and the Ukrainian nation, and at the same time unleashing a global food and energy crisis. The ministers were unanimously agreeing on the need to continue to stand firmly with Ukraine and to lend Ukraine with all our support in its fight for freedom and independence. Ukraine needs more arms. We will provide them. The war will continue will continue supporting, and that's why I have proposed the next tranche of the European Peace Facility, allocating 500 million more. It has been a political agreement on supporting this proposal, uh, and the decision will be taken on the next days, but today the ministers agreed on that.